fish and I'm drinking coffee and I'm about to do this face. So I thought that we would do a get ready with me and coffee chit chat and talk about upcoming videos. Yeah! <laughs> So I've already applied my Clean and Clear Moisturizer, my Simple Under Eye Rollerball, so I've done both of these already. Um, it's super humid, like the last couple of days, and it's like been raining today, and it was kind of like humid this morning, so I'm assuming this afternoon it's going to be humid too, so I want to keep my makeup super light and super simple. So, um, I'm going to be doing it a little different than like my everyday makeup, so that's why I wanted to, um, film, <laughs> sorry, I got wrapped up in that, but that's why I wanted to film like a get ready with me. So, I'm going to use, I have very little of my CoverGirl BB cream, which I do use every day, so I'm going to use, um, a makeup sponge, I like these, they are just the, um, CVS brand. I think it's like Essence of Beauty. Let me turn the light on. Is that better? I'm going to use my CoverGirl and Olay concealer um, for my under eyes. I just like to um, put it on my nose a little bit also, conceal some of the redness, and I like to use this skunk brush from e.l.f. to blend it out and make sure I don't have any harsh lines from the concealer, but it does help conceal my under eye circles quite a bit, so I like that, but it's um, a very light concealer, so it doesn't feel like I have um, makeup caked on my face. And then today... Um, I know technically this is a bronzer, but it matches my skin, so I use it as a setting powder. It's very light, and um, this is my wetter, wetter, Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Bronzer. This has an SPF 15 in it, and uh, this is Reserve Your Cabana. It is a skin tone for me. So, um, that's why I use it as a setting powder. It's not super glittery either, so it's not too bad, but it does have some glitter in it. So, um, if you have issues with glitter on your face, then I wouldn't recommend using this all over. But on me, it's okay, and I like that it kind of gives me a nice, uh, it kind of illuminates a little bit. So, to apply it though, I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and just put it on. While I do this, let's uh, talk about some videos I have coming up. I filmed a what's in my purse video, but the computer crashed, well, it like froze while I was editing it. So I have to re-edit it all over again. I was almost done. So that was a little annoying. I wasn't able to save it, so I have to start all over. So that should be up. Um, I would say by tomorrow. Um, I'm going to edit this one first and put it up. And then um, re-edit that one and then put it up. So I think this one should be up today. It's Tuesday. And then the other one should be up by tomorrow. So look out for that. I'm going to use a highlight. And I'm going to just use my Mary Lou Luminizer and a e.l.f. blush brush to apply it. I like the nice small um, end on it. I like to put it on my cheekbones 
and then blend it out a little bit so you don't have like a, cr a harsh glimmer you know what I mean I just want it to be a very uh, natural <laughs> and then um, I just very so I don't even know if the camera will pick it up but just very lightly tap it and I like to bring it down my nose and then sweep it across my cupid's bow and then whatever's left I like to dust it on my forehead for a bronzer I'm actually going to use a Avon product this is the Avon glow um, bronzer in I can't see what it says right now it's too small so I will insert the washer just got done um, so I will insert that name right here and to apply it I'm actually going to use a Avon brush also so yeah this color is just gorgeous I just like to use the big brush to blend it out a little bit on my cheek as it blends into my face so it's not like a harsh you know what I mean I mentioned that I wanted to talk about some upcoming videos so I've already told you that um, I'm going to be doing a What's in My Purse video. I already filmed it. I just have to edit that. And that should be up tomorrow. Um, I am working on a like Outfits of the Week video. Um, also, I have two tags to do. Um, I think something about... <sighs> Hold on. <clears throat> my notebook with all my ideas in it. Oops. All right. Um, I have my meet my pet tag, and then also the perfect YouTuber tag. So I'm gonna film those this week also, and then um. So by the and then at the end of the month you can expect a May favorites. I'm gonna do uh, favorites every month unless I really don't have any new favorites. But already I have two I can't wait to share and it's only the 13th. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about that. Also, I thought it would be fun to share with you um, a video of like all the polishes I wear in a month. So um, I'm working on that. And what else do I have in here as far as ideas? Um, I'm working on a video that is going to be funny, I think. It's just something silly. But I don't want to tell you what that is because I don't know if it'll be up this month or if it'll be up in June because it's, it's, in, it's a little involved, you know. So it'll be fun. I'm excited about that. And also I have a influencer video coming up that should be up by tomorrow also and then I also have another video where I kind of haul some stuff um, my sister spoiled the crap out of me and I want to haul what she got me because it's some exciting beauty stuff and then also I'm gonna review some I'm gonna do like first impressions and reviews of some of the stuff she got me. So I'm so excited. I have tons of videos coming up and tons of ideas. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and now I want to finish my makeup. So let's get doing that. But I do want to play with this um, City Gold, no, City Color White Gold, uh, that mousse pigment that I got in the Ipsy bag. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't seen that Ipsy Bag video, I will link that below and you guys can check that out. I, I'm just using my finger. Also, um... I was looking 
at my roots and um, I'm not really dyeing my hair anymore. Uh, I'm trying to get away with that and get back to my natural hair color, but I'm not a fan of the uh, harsh, I don't know, like the harsh roots. So I added some highlights to help it blend out because this part is super blonde and then like this is like my roots you can tell um, so this is my natural hair color in here so yeah well that's got some highlight on it but I do just add highlights to it to kind of make it look a little more natural and to help it blend out as it grows out so if you guys are interested in seeing how I actually highlight my hair because it's so easy and um, I've got it down to a pretty good little method that I really like the way it comes out and they look pretty natural I think so if you're interested in seeing that then just let me know and next time I do my highlights which will probably be in a couple weeks um, then I can gladly take you guys along and do that so yeah <laughs> so I think for um, eyes like as far as makeup I'm just gonna leave it like this I think because it's just really pretty on its own you can use it as a base or as um, just on its own just make sure it's all blended evenly. That's all I'm really doing for that. Um, and then I think I'm just going to do some black liner. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I love this. It's ugh, my favorite. I just try and follow the shape of my eye for mascara. I'm going to use just a Avon mascara. This is Avon Super Extend Mascara in black. in an ipsy bag it's the so I knock everything over but it's the um, urban decay what is this one the 24 7 velvet black velvet one um, so I'm just going to put it on the outer part something like that can you see it can you see it? <laughs> uh, yeah, and I do kind of like tuck my eye down a little. I know you're not supposed to, but <sighs> that's how I do it. I've done it that way ever since I started wearing liner. It's just what works best for me. I don't tug too hard or pull it down too far, but It's just what works for this gal. For my lippies, I'm going to use this. I just got this yesterday, and I love the color, but it's the Maybelline Baby Lips, and it's the Dr. Rescue line. I don't know the color offhand, so 
so give me a second. But it's just a nice, my lips like that, a better color. So I just got this yesterday, so I saw the packaging. But this is um, number 50 Soothing Sorbet. The color is gorgeous. It's a very um, natural, like your lips, but better color. So, yeah, that's just, I'm just using that today. Okay, dolls. So, um, that's pretty much it for my makeup today. I told you it was going to be super simple and easy. And, yeah, I'm good to go for the rest of the day. I'm not doing anything else. I'll probably reapply some chapstick and that's it. This is the creation. Okay dolls, so that is it for me. I am done with my makeup and I'm going to film some other videos and stuff. So yeah, if you liked this and you are excited about the upcoming videos that are going to be being posted and filmed very soon then make sure you hit that like button if you have any suggestions or you're interested in seeing any type of video um, then go ahead and leave that in the comment section below or you can leave it on my discussion board or you could also uh, tweet me ideas whatever um, yeah I will have my Twitter Instagram my blog site and my vlogging channel all listed below along with the other videos that I told you I would link below uh, so make sure you check the uh, down bar till my next video stay beautiful and stay safe bye dolls